Well, good day and uh, assalamualaikum. Now we are going to our final lecture for this uh, semester for the subject of vibration analysis and monitoring. This is our lecture ten. Okay. Um, regarding motor condition monitoring. So same like uh, that we uh, we uh, we discuss about shaft condition monitoring, gear condition monitoring, and bearing condition monitoring. Same like motor condition monitoring. Uh, that uh, condition monitoring is uh, aiming at detecting faults to minimize production cost and optimize predictive maintenance. And this is an advanced and very useful tool to predictive maintenance techniques. So early detection, identification, and correction of machinery problems is important to anyone involved in the maintenance of industrial machinery to ensure continued safe and productive operation. As we all know, motors are an important component of machineries and often the faults in these components are the cause of catastrophic breakdown of industrial applications. So, uh, motor condition monitoring, uh, when we discuss or when we uh, talk about vibration, um, or about condition monitoring, so vibration are the most of, uh, technique vibration analysis as is the most uh, te uh, popular technique to analyze the motor condition so uh, as we all know what cause motor vibrates is it is because of uh, bearing faults, gear broken, rotor eccentricity related faults, among others. So, uh, kebanyakannya yang berlaku uh, fault dalam motor adalah disebabkan oleh keadaan-keadaan yang seperti yang dikatakan tadi. Dan kalau kita menggunakan keadaan vibration analysis, uh, biasanya kita menggunakan sensor dan sensor itu kita namakan sebagai accelerometer so dia akan mengasal, uh, menghantar uh, data vibration ke FFT analyzer yang akan menukar data yang dikesan itu uh, ke dalam PC yang boleh kita dapati dalam bentuk uh, nilai frekuensi, amplitude dan juga displacement ok dan ini semua dikenal pasti berdasarkan fault ataupun kerosakan uh, yang terjadi ke atas bearing tadi ke ataupun gear rosak ke ataupun roto eccentricity related faults. Okay. Uh, Sama kaedahnya ketika kita membincangkan tentang shaft ataupun gear ataupun bearing. Jadi, uh, bila kita membincangkan tentang vibration analysis ni, sudah pasti uh, dia akan mengesan tentang frekuensi-frekuensi yang berbeza yang menjelaskan berlaku kerosakan terhadap bahagian-bahagian tertentu. So, motor components are subject subjected to difficult operating condition in high performance equipment. Okay, ini kita faham dan uh, motor components juga adalah amat penting. Okay, di dalam uh, pengoperasian jentera-jentera yang uh, menghasilkan uh, keputusan ataupun uh, memerlukan performance yang uh, tinggi. Kebiasaannya 
ketika kita buat motor, motor pondition monitoring uh, jenis-jenis kerosakannya biasanya didapati daripada bearing faults uh, biasanya mewakili 40% 40% daripada keseluruhan kerosakan masalah dekat eccentricity uh, load faults rotor faults iaitu biasanya mewakili 10% daripada kerosakan keseluruhan dan juga stator faults jadi lima faults ni atau lima kerosakan ni biasa berlaku uh, dalam uh, motor. Okey, untuk nak melaksanakan motor fault diagnosis uh, seperti yang ditunjukkan di sini uh, dia ada berbagai-bagai teknik dan antara tekniknya adalah sama ada gunakan variation analysis teknik iaitu yang menumpu kepada frekuensi spektrum ataupun acoustic emission teknik yang mana dia ini adalah generated by uh, sudden release of energy caused by material deform ataupun menggunakan current signal teknik current signal teknik ini adalah uh, dia memahatikan keadaan bearing yang berada di dalam motor tersebut dan dia fokus kepada magnetic flux density di dalam motor seterusnya menggunakan chemical analysis teknik yang mana dia ni lebih kepada tribology approach dia akan analisis particle properties yang terdapat di dalam minyak pelincir ataupun lubricant oil Seterusnya, gunakan keadaan temperature measurement iaitu yang mana uh, sensor diletakkan ke atas uh, stator winding ataupun di antara insulation isolated electrical daripada instrumentationnya yang mana dia akan membantu untuk diagnose uh, kerusakan motor dan seterusnya yang ni yang lebih canggih menggunakan kaedah ataupun teknik artificial intelligence neural network teknik okey yang menggunakan markov model okey uh, uh, menggunakan deep neural network okey kaedah yang uh, terakhir ini adalah kaedah yang uh, semakin mendapat tempat pada masa kini Okay, seterusnya kita saksikan video ini untuk kefahaman dengan lebih uh, mendalam. Plants must keep running. Production must keep running. Individual components can play a key role in making this happen. Motors, for example. That's why motors have to be monitored all the time. Take a coolant pump in a power plant, for example. If its motor breaks down, an entire town loses electric power. Another example is a paper factory. A newspaper press room needs paper from this factory so that the residents of the city can have their newspapers on the table every morning. If the paper machine's motor breaks down, no paper is available and no newspapers can be printed. The breakfast table remains empty and this costs the boss a whole lot of money. But mechanical equipment doesn't break down without warning. Months before a fault occurs, minimal vibrations can be felt. Weeks before the fault becomes apparent, noise begins to develop. Days before the machine heats up, minutes before the breakdown, it starts to smoke. With motor condition monitoring, you can identify the slightest vibrations months in advance. Motor condition monitoring from Siemens listens to and feels the equipment. Once a fault is in the making, it is detected early on and can be prevented by replacing a bearing, for instance. It makes no difference whether you're monitoring only one motor or a large number of them. Motor condition monitoring from Siemens offers this service and much more. We monitor critical components continuously, around the clock, 24-7. Our certified condition monitoring experts take good care of your plant. They carry out an in-depth analysis to determine the cause. They also prepare regular status reports with recommended actions. This approach helps substantially reduce the ratio between unscheduled and scheduled downtimes. 
This increases the availability of your equipment and reduces your operating costs, and your production keeps running. Electric motors are everywhere in industry. When these motors fail, the costs of downtime are very high. Lost production, lost profit, and loss of confidence if the failures were unforeseen. Many sites use vibration monitoring on their motors. This is good, but vibration monitoring misses up to 50% of motor failures. These failures are due to insulation failure and motor operating point problems. Let's look at each. AC induction motors make up the majority of industrial electric motors and are covered here. DC, synchronous and other motor types will not be covered in this video. Industrial AC induction motors use magnetic fields to cause the shaft rotation. Magnetic fields are created by electric currents. The AC power source provides the currents that flow in the motor. The stationary part of the motor, the stator, is made of several wire loops, which are physically aligned to create strong magnetic fields. Due to the AC nature of the power source, the magnetic field direction rotates in the center of the stator. In the center of the stator is the rotor, the part of the motor which is connected to the shaft and rotates. The rotor has no electrical connections to the stator or the power source. Rather, the magnetic fields of the stator induce currents to flow in the rotor. These rotor currents create a magnetic field, which interacts with the stator magnetic field to create the shaft rotation. The stator insulation is most prone to failure. Insulation strength degrades over time due to heat, electrical stress, mechanical stress, abrasion, and contamination. The most common insulation failure is between turns of wire that are next to each other in the same coil. This is called a turn-to-turn -turn fault. When this fault occurs, the motor will draw a lot of current, quickly overheat, and can melt down in minutes. The surge test can reliably find the strength of turn-to-turn -turn insulation, giving you early warning about when the insulation is weak. When the insulation fails and there is a path to the core, it is called a ground wall insulation failure, since the stator core is at electrical ground. Oftentimes when a motor overheats or has a turn-to-turn -turn failure, the excessive heat will cause a ground wall insulation failure also. Ground wall insulation strength is measured with the MEG ohm test at low voltage, but this test misses many ground wall insulation failures. A better test is the DC high pod and step tests, which measure insulation strength at higher voltages. Stator insulation faults are responsible for about 30 to 40 percent of motor failures. One of the major causes of insulation degradation is heat. To understand more about what causes excess heat in the motor, let's look at the entire power motor load system. Electric machines are designed for good incoming power conditions. When power conditions deteriorate, excessive currents can flow in the machine, generating excess heat and shortening machine life. Incoming power tests look at voltage and current levels, distortion and balance. Electric motors are designed for specific conditions found on the nameplate for the motor. This includes things such as voltage and current, but more importantly, motor speed, torque, and load ratings. Running a motor in an overloaded condition can quickly reduce the motor lifetime. The machine load is what provides the benefit of the machine. Moving air, compressing air, moving rock, pumping liquids, moving a vehicle, processing pulp, etc. Ideally, these loads do not overload the motor, even temporarily. By measuring electric motor torque, the machine load can be examined in real time. SKF Electric Motor Condition Monitoring Solutions completely address the faults not covered by vibration monitoring. SKF Static Motor Testers completely assess the insulation system of the motor. These tests are run when the motor is off, disconnected from the AC power source. The most common insulation failure is between turns of wire that are next to each other in the same coil. This is called a turn-to-turn -turn fault. The surge test is the only test that can reliably test turn-to-turn -turn insulation. 
The surge test also finds phase-to-phase -phase and coil-to-coil -coil faults in the stator windings. Groundwall testing is done with a MEG-ohm test, but MEG-ohm test alone is an incomplete test of groundwall insulation. To completely test the groundwall insulation, high voltage step, ramp and high pot tests are also used. SKF static motor tests are non-destructive and follow IEEE and IEC motor testing standards for motor insulation testing. Additional tests available include resistance, inductance, and capacitance for verification of motor winding construction. Now let's look at the motor operating point using SKF dynamic motor analyzers. The operating point is measured while the motor or machine is energized and operating. Connections are made to measure the motor voltages and currents. Electric machines are designed for good incoming power conditions. When power conditions deteriorate, excessive currents can flow in the machine, generating excess heat and shortening machine lifetime. The SKF EXP4000 and NET-EP analyze incoming power, including voltage and current levels, distortion and balance. The motor performance itself is analyzed using motor speed, torque and load ratings. Motor efficiency is also presented. Running a motor in an overloaded condition can quickly reduce the motor lifetime. The load performance is analyzed by looking at the motor torque output. The output torque required is determined by the load. SKF Dynamic Motor Analyzers allow you to look at the load torque in real time to find even temporary overload conditions or machine faults such as cavitation or unbalanced loads. All operating point measurements can be done on line-driven and VFD-driven machines. Monitor your entire machine systems with SKF vibration and electric motor condition monitoring solutions. Doing so will help give you early warning of failures and allow you to take action to extend machine life. For more information on SKF electric motor condition monitoring solutions, go to SKF. Plants must keep running. Ada sedikit pertambahan uh, iaitu um, untuk um, stator fault tadi seperti yang diceritakan dalam video dia berkaitan dengan high temperature loose fitting of end winding dan juga contamination uh, sebagai contoh uh, moisture dan juga dust dan kedudukan stator pun tadi telah ditunjukkan di dalam video dia adalah macam seolah satu uh, ruangan yang di dalamnya ada rotor ok, oleh itu dengan ini, tamatlah lecture ini uh, sekian, terima kasih